you can never have too many crabs. And that's what we're going to do today, is create crabs. We need to send our red ones to defeat the blue ones over here. In order to do that, we need more crabs, so we need to make outposts and places. Our little engineer will come out and construct this, and that will spit out more crabs. For now, I need them to go get resources. Shells are the harder to get resource, but we need them to build extra buildings. I also want one of these types of crabs, they're going to go here. And we're going to adjust our strategy in real time, because the enemy will be up to different things as they go. Yeah, the other crabs have already come to visit us. I'm hoping we can just kind of, uh, annihilate them. Yeah, if they're gonna fight us like 1v10, we might as well just destroy them. Easiest murders we've ever had. Then I can't remember what resources they were going for, so they can just do that. Also, there's a giant crab down in here we're gonna get eventually, but we need more resources in order to get that. Actually, not really. Uh, we have a lot of crabs just sort of sitting around right now, so we're gonna toss them in the crab hole. I don't know what we've done to annoy the enemy so bad, but they're quickly coming over here to either fight us or give us their shells. And they might be trying to stop us from getting our resources. So we're gonna send some of our little crabs against their big crabs, but then some of our bigger crabs against their big crabs. All the while this is going on, I'm mostly gonna send our little crabs into here. Uh, we sacrifice the children here. You guys go get some uh, more anything, really. They're starting to send some big crabs down into the sacrifice hole too. Oh, there's one now. Uh, so we need to try and outnumber them here. But that's also kind of why I put some of these outposts over here. That way they're nice and close. They spawn into this world and then they get crab holed. So these guys need to go in there. These guys need to go in there. Uh, I'm not sure who's thrown more in the crab hole so far, but hopefully it's us. And our new building is complete, so that's going to get us some new crabs to work with. You guys go attack him. And you know what? I'm worried I haven't been paying enough attention. No, you guys get in the crab hole. Don't worry about him. We don't need to kill them. We need to fill the crab hole first. Uh, these are bigger crabs. They're hopefully worth more. Okay, you guys in here. You can figure it out. There you go. Uh, and you guys can be the guardians here. You can stop them from coming in. Uh, they're going to get on it anyway. They're very territorial. The enemy over here has spawned some big crabs, but they're... Uh, wisely storing them in behind their castle where they're doing absolutely nothing. All the while, we're pouring a billion crabs into the crab hole to the point where that one just gave up. He's leaving. Uh, didn't realize they're sitting there at my base though. Probably should have put more crabs around here to uh, deter them. Because they're going to do some damage and maybe collapse the castle. But in the meantime, crab hole. Uh, these big ones are actually really tough. They destroy my little ones. But once the numbers turn, then we defeat them. Okay, you guys go get some more clay. We, I have a very different uh, strategy than the computer, so I'm not really sure if what I'm doing is good or bad. They're also throwing a lot of numbers in the crab hole at this point. But you can play that game. If anyone can sacrifice a large number of their own army, it's myself. Look at them trying to run interference. We're not going to fall for it. Get in the hole. Better to die to the giant crab than to the enemies. At this point, for some reason, both sides are just racing to get in the crab hole. Like They're sending all of these over and we're sending all of our armies too. Everyone in the hole. It's just an all-out race. Okay, you guys get in there. Yeah, don't worry about slowing them down. Just get in there first. Just go. Just go. Just go. Uh, you can kill these ones, though, because that's kind of funny. Maybe, actually, if we can fight the big ones first. Just kill these guys before they do anything. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Now we have the big crab. Uh, these guys are going to attack the big crab, it looks like. But two can play that game. They attack our big crab. We attack their big crabs. And since we have some good resources right now, actually... Let's build a base right there. And aside from that, uh, those guys are going to harass my crap all the way down. So I'm going to try and send my army in to give them some support. They killed them. They killed my big crab already. I worked so hard for that. All right, more sacrifices. Get in the hole. Uh, you know what? Maybe we need more resources. You guys go grab some clay. Uh, yeah, grab some clay. I thought the big crab would be an auto win for us, but shows what I know about crab strategy. Okay, we're going to send some of our smaller crabs in to take out the annoying crabs that destroyed my big important crab. Uh, that one's not really fighting back as far as I could tell, so hopefully we'll just destroy him. Yeah, we just destroyed one of the big ones here. We're going to destroy these ones, and then we'll maybe get back to our sacrificing ways. Like you guys, you guys are small and quick. Actually, we're going to use you to farm clay. Because I think I also want some of the big crabs. We're going to put them right there where they're going to be in the way. Oh, I see their strategy. They're taking my crab hole. Okay, we're going to take all of you guys and put you in the crab hole. That's a sacrifice we can make. We're mostly going to beat them up on the way through anyway, like our crabs are slowly making their way to the crab hole. So if they get a few casual murders in there on the way over, that's just a win for me. Uh, engineer crab is working away right now anyway, and that'll start producing the other big crabs. The little ones are working hard to grab clay. Wow, look at all the clay we have suddenly. Alright, well we can just build another one of these. We can have these big guys sitting around. You know what? You go bug them. You go sit right, I don't know, here or something and just stop the other guys from coming up our lane. We got a bunch of idiots sitting here. Go get in the crab hole. Everyone in the crab hole for a second. We need another big one. I've got three big crabs now. Yeah, these guys are going to be destroyers. Four big crabs now. Uh, okay, good. This will be good. Okay, good. We'll fight back. Actually, take out their big crab. Their singular big crab. I refuse to be out crab. No, destroy him. There you go, dummies. Wow, suddenly we just got a lot of different things going on. Okay, attack him. Yeah, there you go. Destroy him. Then you're all getting sacrificed for it as a reward. 
Okay, we managed to take a big boy. They're obviously quite strong because, uh, yeah, the enemies really work hard to try and defeat them. And they can take some damage for sure. And then every once in a while I turn around and we got more crabs to throw in the crab hole. This is going to work out great. Uh, we farmed up, you know what? You guys get in the crab hole as well. We farmed up 116 clay so we can sacrifice a few crabs. There's a giant battle going on over here. We pushed him right off the map. We're bowling him so hard. They got one of ours, but I'm pretty sure, yes, they've definitely been replaced by now. Reinforcements are on the way. Yeah, good execution, guys. You missed the hole by half a kilometer, but that's okay. And there we go. We've absolutely blockaded the middle, and we're definitely winning the sacrifice game. Look at all the different crabs we have now. I feel like I don't even need the big one anymore. I could just charge straight in, but we're going to get the big one anyway. You can never be too strong. Uh, while I'm at it, I guess I'm going to, uh, I don't know, put a castle there and a sand castle uh, here. And look, I didn't even tell them to go to the enemy. They're just automatically walking over there to murder them all. And I've sent half a million crabs from my armies, uh, including these extra ones now, into the hole. We have five large crabs that are just going to... There we go. We got our big one back. Plus the five uh, other big ones. So we're going to sit there and try and tear down our sand castles or at least keep these guys busy for a sec. That way they're not going to go take out my big boy. These guys are probably going to die here. I think they're just too outnumbered to do anything about it. But that's not really my problem. Oh, we did break their castle. I just heard it break. Yeah, down it goes. But those guys were a nice distraction because now they have to fight my entire crab mass plus our giant. The giant is pretty much going to wreck things by himself, I think. I did, however, also think that last time it wasn't really the case, but at least we got a different, a nice variety of crabs now. We're multi-crabbing it. Okay, these little guys work much better. They probably get a lot of damage out. These guys are probably tanks. We have such overwhelming odds that I have three of my crabs just, just sitting here, not doing anything. Hmm, a bunch of my idiots got stuck here too. It's the greatest crab battle the world's ever seen. Uh, we're going to come out on top of that because we just have the raw numbers plus a nuclear crab. They're trying to run. They're trying to get away. There's no getting away from this. Yeah, once Big Crab gets in there, he's going to do some damage. As long as he doesn't die first. And I don't think they've got the damage to hurt him at this point. Yeah, look at him. Smash that sandcastle. You show it who's boss. What a good crab. Uh, pretty sure that's going to be a pretty easy victory for us. But by the time we had the victory, we had a lot of reinforcements again. I always knew I'd be good at the crabs. So this time we're going to have a similar strategy. Right away we're going to bring in some stronger crabs and some more stronger crabs. It looks like in this one the crab hole is directly in the middle. So we're going to have to put in a little bit of work to get there. But for now you guys mine some clay. And you guys also mine some clay. Okay, Everyone is not doing anything to get on clay duty. If we don't have clay we have a problem. Everyone get clay. Not sure where my engineer is going. Uh, the enemy strategy so far is to build a wall. Not really sure why. They kind of have their own little strategy in mind apparently. My idiots are slowly depositing the clay. Actually not that slowly even. That's coming along pretty quick. So we're going to set up a little one here. Those are little crabs. But little crabs count too. Because they're very quick. And quick means we can get them in the crab hole quickly. This seems like a big crab hole. See I'm hoping they can mostly just scoot right on by the enemy. Mostly ignoring them. Because those guys are just walking toward us. Not really sure why. Not really our problem. I found their king. He's currently walking around with a pile of clay, but that's one arm up for us, I believe. We're mining some clay, so I'm going to send these guys out probably for some shells. We're going to take it right from the face of the enemy. Uh, the enemies want to come and mess with us, but we have so many crabs, like, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. We can fight them like 10 to 1, so we'll destroy them and they'll get like one hit on us. So we're going to kill their king. Okay, got him. He's dead. While we're at it, you know what? Since we have a minute, all the crabs in the hole. These guys are uh, still going for just some of the gems or shells, whatever they are. So I'm just going to have them destroy this crab first and then grab some shells. Yeah, they made a single sacrifice. I'm about to sacrifice my single army. And everyone else, uh, either grab clay or shells. Your reward for doing a good job will be sacrificed. They haven't got any of these crabs yet. I'm not actually sure what these are. The tide is coming up, but we're getting some nice sacrifices down in the hole. Yeah, I gotta change my strategy just a little bit here. I'm gonna send my whole army out, like literally all of them, to defeat these guys, and then we're gonna grab some shells with the survivors. I'm also sacrificing these crabs with shells. Uh, not really sure how we ended up doing that, but it doesn't matter. Wow, we're bullying this guy. That's the best way to do it. Surround. Surround and conquer. Okay, also these guys. Don't forget these ones. Our higher damage crabs are also joining the fray, so hopefully we're able to slow these guys down a whole lot. Yeah, guys over here. Yep, thank you. Good job. Nobody's sure what the enemy's doing. Like, they're just kind of getting bullied around. And by the time they walk over here, I've regenerated most of my army anyway. So we could destroy all these guys, grab some shells, and make some sacrifices. Okay, since you guys are quick, grab the shells and get out of my life. You guys, since you're not quick, get in the crab hole slowly. Yeah, that's gonna be better. Look at all the shells we're gonna get. They're like ants, but less smart. 
this one's having a seizure. So what does sort of let him have a seizure over there? He's not really very dangerous to us if he's doing that. The enemy's starting to make some sacrifices there. I think they realize we're ahead on this sacrifice game. The tide came up so far. Uh, that's okay because we're about to put a bunch of shells down. So we'll get some big armored uh, crabs ourselves. Plus hopefully this guy comes out soon. We got most of his legs up. So hopefully this actually pushes them the rest of the way. Look how many shells we have suddenly. How far can we build these things out? Okay, let's put one here. Okay, idiots, idiots, calm, calm. Since you're already over here, get into crab hole. We don't really need any more shells. We do need some clay though. So if you guys want to grab some of that at any point, feel free. Oh, a big one came out. Great. He's going to march straight towards the enemy who is not trying very hard. So we're going to let big boy wander in that direction. He'll either fight the enemies or he won't by himself. I'm hoping most of these guys get back with some clay. So, uh... Even if our big guy doesn't make it all the way in, he'll make it close enough that we can set up shop somewhere on their doorstep. That's got to be pretty intimidating for the other crabs to go up against. Plus we got the giant crab army in behind who's already stomping them to death. These idiots are so disorganized that I actually feel like it is me, like, organizing them. This is something I would intentionally do. Okay, the big crabs seem to have ignored uh, my biggest crab. Uh, he's just marching onwards. They just don't probably want to get murdered by him. So they're going to keep going. Nah, we got enough clay at this point. You know what? Everyone just walk forward. Just straight in. Go support your big brother. Before getting there, destroy this guy. He's quicker than he's supposed to be somehow. So everyone destroy him. Yeah, him. Get him. Or walk past him. That's fine too. Can you guys destroy him? He's a problem. For some reason, we're just creating a log jam, but that's okay because if everyone's distracted over here, uh, they have a nuclear bomb landing on their doorstep and they seem uninterested in doing anything about that. I'm pretty sure he just walks over sand castles and destroys them. He stomps on the little crabs and destroys them. And this is so expensive for them to rebuild, because every time I take out their buildings, uh, it costs them clay and shells. Well, we got like their capital building, and we're absolutely going to chew down their entire, entire castle in no time at all. There's just a big log jam over here. The entire army's just kind of got jammed up on each other. Not really sure what they're doing. This guy's always got the right idea, though. He just gets in there and waves his arms about, destroys the enemies. Wait, is this what I think it is? This might be a three-way battle. Four-way battle. Which one's mine? Okay, we gotta get to work. Okay, we're gonna have a similar strategy. Uh, we're gonna put out lots of the medium-sized crabs. Everyone else right now, if you don't have a job, get to mining. We've gotta outplay three other crab empires now. We're definitely up to the task, but it's gonna take a little bit more effort. And that means I'm gonna need some of these uh, little crabs that are efficient at mining too, because they're so quick. If we can just load up on a bunch of clay, I'm pretty sure we could just endlessly build uh, crab castles everywhere and just swarm everyone. The enemy's already sort of uh, coming at me or going to one of the clay balls. I'm going to try and send my little crabs around them to grab some shells pretty soon. We're definitely getting lots of walls. And actually, we could probably wall off this thing if we really wanted to. Or wall off like an entire lane for them. Okay, the enemies have already come to visit us. So I can see it's going to be a big multifaceted battle of idiots in all directions. So one of the first things we're going to do is sacrifice our entire army to the crab hole to show dominance. You wouldn't do a move like this unless you were really confident. You know what, I'm going to do a little more, a few more of these little castles. The crabs are just quick, so they'll be quick to respond to threats. They won't be that strong, but they'll at least deflect damage. Uh, the great sacrifice is about to occur. You guys just jump on in there. Your service will be uh, forever cherished. Look at how many we got already. And already back here, we got so many of our crabs back. Okay, everyone go for the shells. We need one round of shells. Also, I'm going to see if I can get away with building crab houses right here and just throw crabs in there nonstop. Okay, and those guys are all going to grab shells. We're going to make a bunch of sacrifices. We got some stronger units on the way, but I think we're just going to go right past them. I already have such a big army that like I've got a whole bunch. It actually took the whole shell thing away. Uh, these guys got a little distracted bullying that thing, but they're going to jump in now. We did build this thing here. Great. Okay, uh, let's build some walls to kind of mostly just annoy the enemy as much as anything. Okay, no, 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 no fighting the enemy. Get in the sacrifice hole. All of you. Each and every one of you. Yeah, that's what we're here to see. Everyone in the hole. No, no, no. No fighting the enemy. We got this crap for fighting the enemy. Okay, now, now you can fight the enemy. We, we don't need any more. Guys, relax. No more sacrifices. I think these guys are just <laughs> spawning and jumping in the hole at this point. Yeah, they <laughs> they know their role. They're born into this world to jump into the hole. Uh, these guys are still going for shells. I could probably relax on that. Uh, you guys just mine some clay. You guys actually go ahead and jump in the hole. And you guys jump in the hole. Uh, they've got like a coconut crab who's sort of bombing us right now. He might actually take out my big crab because no one's doing anything about that. Aside from that, we're sort of just building up a colossal amount of resources. So this really shouldn't be too much of a problem to deal with soon. Okay, you guys go get him. At least distract him. You don't even have to do much. Just, uh, <laughs> trying to sneak past my wall. They're falling in the hole. 
Okay, they destroyed uh, the first crab. Okay, we need him because I feel like he's going to do really big AoE damage. Pretty sure at this rate we're going to have a second super crab before you know it. Uh, you know what? Let's just pour these things all around and see if we can summon a whole bunch of big crabs. They get to spawn to eat themselves into the hole nonstop. Mission accomplished. My crabs destroyed a large part of the green army. So we'll just let the wander in and destroy things on their own terms. I've got Jumbotron over here just slowly marching his way in, mostly unimpeded. We have a large army sitting at our doorstep though, but we can stop them right here. We've got so many crabs. Not to mention these ones, we just go ahead and throw them in the hole. Once the engineers build all of these, we'll really be laughing. I think we've established dominance in the center of the map at this point. We've also established dominance in this guy's base as well. Even if they manage to kill this crab, we've done a lot of damage to their resources. And they better kill him, because if they don't, he's just going to walk onto the next base anyway and destroy them as well. Uh, I can't see the health part this time around, but I would assume that that thing is taking some damage for sure. Got him. <laughs> we've already summoned a second giant crab. Okay, you know what? All of you, in the hole. Better yet, fight off the enemy crabs who are either trying to out-sacrifice me. What a futile effort. Like we're spawning crabs into the hole. They did take out the big crab over here, but we've got more on the way. These guys took a pretty big bite out of my army over here, but since then I'm pretty sure my army has fully respawned. So we're going to go throw them in the center as well, and all you guys can just jump in the center. This big crab doesn't even know where to go anymore. I think he spawned looking at that base. <laughs> we got another big crab. We've murdered like eight generations of crab over here. Uh, you know what, you guys, I actually fight these off. Purple has figured out who the actual enemy is, so they've come to fight us. Unfortunately, they're very outnumbered. Like, way outnumbered. We're already going to destroy them, and then we're going to enjoy some very easy clay. While that's happening, we've had some of these tougher tank crab things uh, fighting our sandcastles. They shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Especially because they're basically fighting in our base. Like, we're just constantly spawning new crabs right on top of them, so they can't last long. Meanwhile, the destroyer of worlds is getting awfully close to their base. <laughs> we got another big crab. I just made a, a crab sacrifice assembly line, essentially. As soon as they spawn straight in the big hole, we'll get more big idiots going. We've got three currently on the board. They're building more buildings to try and fight against the Colossus. Uh, that guy's not doing anything. He's already there. Yeah, that's it. Give it a smack. Jiggle that castle real good. I think they finally, yeah, this one finally came into action to start uh, landing some bombs at his feet, but it's a little bit too late. This one stopped dead because he probably doesn't really know where to go anymore. So we'll see if we get another one going. Well, whatever the case, we now have another big crab on his way out. So we've got three in play. The one over here disappeared. Maybe we have a max you can spawn of three. Meanwhile, back at home base, Purple is trying really, really hard. Uh, they're actually doing pretty well over here. They're trying really, really hard to match our numbers. They're not, but they're trying. I've sent a large part of my army just to go and absolutely destroy them. And they absolutely will destroy them because they're just oh, outmatched. We just have way too many. They're going to chew through all of them in no time. They even brought their clay balls with them. It's an offering. It's a peace offering. Kill them all. Uh, aside from that, I have like 4,000 crabs just sitting here, not doing much of anything. So they're going in the hole. Then I'm going to take my armies, which are getting too big to actually fit on the screen properly. Come on, we can grab them. Grab these and send them in as well. Yeah, they're going to get in there. Yeah, they've already destroyed castle number one. Okay, go for this one now. We're really going to make it hurt for these guys. I actually really like these little ones. They're so quick. They're really, really, really brittle. But they're so quick. Once they get in and surround everything, everything just dies. Like these guys. We'll go ahead and eat all their crabs. I also don't want to get under the feet of my giant crab because he will crush a lot of our own. Uh, at this point, what does it matter? Just destroy their castle. There's nothing they can do at this point. It's inevitable. The greatest crabs there ever were.